Now I'm going to give you a tour of Southwest, give you a little uh, perspective of where I grew up. Hopefully not for uh, a long time, but when I get buried, when I get cremated, my ashes are going to be thrown in this neighborhood. This is who I am. This is the neighborhood that molded me. This is what made me who I am, and I love this neighborhood. If you know me, you're in all minute. That's great. We'll talk about it. If somebody tells you a minute you come up, I'll talk to you about it. But I don't just go out there telling people, yo, I'm Hank the Tank, I'm this, I'm that. Pretty much low key on that, but my family loves it. You know, they're proud of me, especially my mom and dad. They tell everybody, you know, people in the supermarket, whoever they want to, you know, they told to my son's this and my son's that. It's good, you know, every parent wants to see their kid, you know, do something, you know. Pretty much everybody knew each other when I was growing up, and then it started changing. Uh, a lot of tough people, a lot of good people with their fists, a lot of, a lot of fights. If you had a problem with somebody, fought them. But then it started changing. Now everybody wants to shoot each other, roll them, jump people. It's a bunch of punks now, you know what I mean? A lot of drugs, a lot of prostitution. This neighborhood gives a lot of people mental toughness. You know, there's physical toughness. You lift weights, yeah, I can bench this, I can do that. But when it comes to the mental part, if you ain't mentally tough, you ain't going to be able to handle it. And I know the wing bowl, it, it ain't like a serious thing in life, but like the stuff that this neighborhood taught me, you, you live your life with and you bring it through obstacles in your life. So when that obstacle comes up, I think back to stuff and it just pushes me through it. This is where I started drinking when I was 16, and Debbie thought I was 21. Hey! Hey! hey. Then on my 21st birthday, I was celebrating. She got mad at me because she thought I was 21 for about five years. I was a fat slob, 360 pounds. Still sexy like I always am. And uh, decided I needed to lose weight if I wanted to win the wing bowl. So I started on that Atkins diet. First month was hard, and after that, it got easy. Now, you know, I'm just staying away from the carbs, eating a lot of chicken, salad. Water. See this right here? There's no carbs in this. Here. This is for the camera guy. I'm not gonna mention his name so nobody knows who it is. Wing Bowl means that pretty much everything I was doing before I got in Wing Bowl, the drinking, the eating, the partying, was a good thing. When everybody told me I should slow down, it was a bad thing. Turned out it wasn't a bad thing, was it? Got 20-something thousand people going down to look at us every year, so might as well be doing something, right?